Hi friends. If you click to check out a try on using Linda Halberg's Halberg, Halberg. Infinity Palette 2, Metallic Mysteries 2, and some of her crayons, then please keep on watching. Hello my friends, if this is your first time here, my name is Alicia. Thank you so much for clicking. And if you are returning, well thank you for stopping by again. Kinky Sweat stands for my kinky hair and sweat life. I am a fitness professional who loves things, all movement and beauty. If you want to check out what I do in between the makeups, you can head over to my Instagram. If you want to check out details of Linda's makeup, I did an indie brand makeup haul and I have all those details in that video to quickly explain a month and a half ago about Linda had a 50% off site wide discount sale and I jumped on it. I've been eyeing her products for quite some time. I never pulled the trigger because they are quite expensive and not to say that I'm uncomfortable dropping major dollars on makeup but with the international shipping and the total cost of it all I just knew I should wait and I'm happy I did. So I wanted to film a dedicated video applying her products because I already did a video trying on my Cleona Multichrome and now we'll get into her palettes and crayons today. To quickly go over her brand, Linda is a Swedish makeup artist and also a huge social media influencer. Her style is very much from avant-garde to low-key in terms of her application technique. The looks that she creates are so... They're almost transcendent and they have a lot of texture, a lot of movement, but her application process is just so chill and easy at the same time. Because when you see her videos and how she achieves these looks that are very impactful, it's like, oh, that's all she did. She makes it look very easy. And her makeup line was inspired by the fact that she felt the industry was missing products that were multi-use. She felt that lipstick should not just be used on the lips. Same thing with powder product. They should just not be limited to the face, but anywhere on the face, whether it be eyes, cheeks, lips, bodies. So she wanted to create products that were limitless, balanced in terms of creativity and use. So all her palettes actually you could use on your eyes, your lips, your face, and your hair. Fun. and her crayons you could use on your brows, eyes, lips, and face, and body. So we're not going to do anything body because I'm boring and I have my flannel on. I didn't read the ingredients but all the ingredients are online and I would suspect and hope that these pigments are indeed safe to apply on our lips and eyes. These products are also vegan and cruelty free. So I already have my base on. I thought let's start out with the Infinity Palette. That's enough. She does have an Infinity Palette 1 where it has lighter tones in terms of the contouring and the blush and the highlight. I decided to get Infinity 2 because I thought that these shades were more suitable for my skin tone and I'm actually going to do some of the recommendations suggested by you guys. So here on the slide it says there are no do's and don'ts, your face, your body, your rules. So again, hashtag you are the creator stay awesome she gives you the medium you could use it however you want and i think linda encourages that she doesn't want them to feel that they have to use the palette on their face alone that if they want to experiment that she provides the medium to do so and she would like you to have fun with this so with that said uh today i have old school hourglass vanish stick foundation look at me thought i would shake it up a bit i was told to mix light year and red shift I have swatches on my other indie video and I have not only the timestamps in the description box but a pinned comment and it will say Linda Halberg Infinity Palette 2 swatches and you could just go directly to that portion of the video if you just wanted to see the swatches. What brush should I use? You know I'm feeling feisty and I want to use my Sony G Face Pro. A little bit into Light Year and Red Shift because Red Shift has a lot of shift. Palette also has a mirror very helpful so let's get going oh wow redshift has a lot of pigment to it it's a very is it's just a beautifully rich color that definitely can be buffed down or if i want less i would use a longer bristle brush maybe even a squirreled hair brush so it doesn't pick up as much product let's try that actually i'm going to grab my chikohoto z8 cheek brush again tapping into a little red shift and light year let's see how that works out so using squirrel hair as opposed to goat hair is going to deposit a lighter finish because it just doesn't pick up as much product and you can kind of see here compared to this side how we were able to achieve that i do want to take a little bit of light year again with my faith bro see how that looks as blush Ooh, i love that these are matte 
Not all of the uh, powders in here are matte, but I just love the tone of light year. It has a little bit of pinkiness to it, but it's not ashy looking. It adds like a, a natural looking flush to the cheeks and that's really gorgeous. Just taking a little bit of red earth, just a tap. Putting it more here just so I could look even with both sides of my face. And also here on the very top forehead, taking my Z8 to just gently buff down this side gorgeous that's a great combination thank you so much sarah let's try some of these highlights yeah we have polar star which is more of a pinky champagne solar which is clearly very golden and quasar like a coppery type of gig so let's go in with solar first why not and i am applying that with my sona g mini cheek right here on the very top it's definitely very yellow in tone Perhaps not ideal for me to wear as a highlight. I could probably wear this lower on the face. I'm gonna cut down the exposure a little bit just so you can see that better. I think as a traditional highlight shit, I could go into Polar Star, maybe be a little more successful. There we go. I think this tone is going to serve me better as a highlighter versus solar because it's just a little lighter in tone. And although pinky in tone, not super icy on the skin, which I appreciate. I'm also going to try her 306 again. This is a synthetic multi-purpose brush. You can use this with different mediums because it's synthetic. You could use this with powder, liquid, or creams. I will now go back into Polar Star, and why not? Let's go on this side again to see if we can lighten up solar i know mel thompson loves this brush especially with hard to pick up textures like gelée types of textures but if you combine solar and polar star i think it's a beautiful combination so you don't have to do what i just did you could just mix them from the pans and go straight onto your face and i think that will look quite nice let's experiment with quasar i think this will be like a beautiful blush topper type of situation let's see what brush wing number 14 a little bit of quiver and just lightly on the tops of the cheeks very beautiful i think if you buff this in carefully it could give a beautiful like warm orangey type of glow i think particularly beautiful on deeper skin tones you can definitely just use this as a highlight higher on the cheekbones but if you want to experiment with like a glowy type of blur but if you want to experiment also with using it as like a glowy type of blush i think you could be successful with that application as well i think the powders blend really nicely they are pigmented so just keep in mind especially with red earth you're going to get a lot of punch from this color i will go in with a light hand if you are around my skin tone and you're looking to use it as a bronzer umbra we could probably use as a contour. Now I am well aware. I have a lot of stuff in my face already. But I still kind of want to see. I want to see. I want to experiment. I want to know. Taking my Wayne Goss number 12. Lightly. Like lightly. And I also tap some excess on the hand. I'm going to pat down first. Pat down first. And then I'll slowly start to buff. Good to know that I don't have to blend right away that these textures work well by just pressing the powders into the skin and i think these are phenomenal shades to use on the eyes if you just have a palette with metallic shimmer types of textures and you need something to buff those colors with you could use these i'm actually taking umbra on the jaw line just a little bit i am well aware this is a lot i wouldn't apply this many cheek products at one time but for the sake of the demo just so you can see it in action and again just to buff down the intensity taking my chikohoto z8 again cool i love as you know i always like to split through them split. and as a finale let's take linda's 306 again with polar star not in frame. And I'm gonna pat down a little more on the highest point 
of the cheekbones. That's beautiful. I really love this color. These highlights are not super punchy. They're not in your face, but they are very soft and buildable. They are definitely more of a traditional powder texture. They're not like a gel to powder texture. They are definitely traditional powders, but I like the fact that they're lightweight and a little thinner than said some other high metallic shine highlighter. I appreciate that, especially if you have texture on the face and you want to wear a highlight, but you find that several other different products you've used, they just look heavy on the skin. This is really great. The color is great. The texture is, I feel, easy to use. And I feel perhaps Linda had that in mind when formulating this with whatever chemist she was working with at the time for it to be lightweight and thin on purpose so it's easy to layer and to work with not bad we like i'm now super excited to get into the eyes so i know i'm aware i didn't use mars i think i want to use mars with one of the metallic mystery shades so i'm going to uh, set these eyes so i'm going to prime my eyes get you in a little closer and we'll be right back Too Faced Born This Way Concealer Multi-Use in Natural Beige on the lid. Let's get into Metallic Mysteries. Now, several of you had said that you were disappointed with the texture because you thought it was thin and not as long wearing. Come to think of it, every time I saw one of Linda's tutorials, she always started with one of her crayons. And I am well aware that's going to definitely amplify the staying power and just color impact of her Metallic Mystery textures. I'm gonna see how they do on their own and then we'll experiment with layering them on one of the crayons on one of the crayons so here is her metallic mysteries 2 volume 2 she had one that sold out i missed out on it and she also had her enchanted something something i am so bummed i missed that one but it's fine i'm gonna start with epsilon i could just tell from this type of texture that it will just greatly benefit with the fact that i apply it with my fingers so i'm gonna try that first and yeah for sure, I get a lot of impact from the get-go when I use my fingers. Now, if you're like, Alicia, I don't like using my fingers, figure it out. Well, let's go in with, going in with my reference number one. Let's get some on the brush, starting with this. Let's see what that does. It's okay, but not like a finger application. But that's pretty nice opacity, I have to say. Just for the sake of it, I want to use light year and my wing goss number three i think will make a really nice transition blend out shade i think there's still a little something something on this brush it looks like it looks a little yellow not bad like that going in with a little bit of you know what let's do umbra patting that down on the outer v just to kind of deepen it there nice with one of her crayons in oh you have a flash i'm just taking it right under the lash line like that color a lot going with epsilon again refer one and now just smoking the lower lash line and setting that pencil way number three to just blend out the edges first I think Epsilon has really nice color, but definitely doesn't have the same shine. As, as, well, let me see here. Hold on. Hold on. There it is. There's some shine. It might not be as prominent without the flashlight. I feel, for instance, Pat Shadow that has a similar shade has a little more dazzle even without the flashlight. But the color is really nice and I feel fairly easy to use. Hello, why are you so blurry? Hello, give me. Hi, what am I gonna do on this eye? Ho! I wanna try Draco. Draco, Draco. Going in with my finger first. Let's see what it does just on its own. Oh, that's great. I like that a lot. But you know what I want to do? I want to play with her crayons. I want to blend them out and see how they work. Taking my Bioderma just taking off Drago. I'm not going to go in with concealer because since we're going in with the pencil, that will then serve as our primary. Au revoir, flash. Taking that on the lid, just all over. Ooh, we got to move fast, friends. Remember, because this sets fast. <gasps> Linda Halberg's 304 brush. And then let's see how well this moves because we don't want to waste any time. Not bad. We got it to blend out. You kind of see the sparkles left behind, so if you want something like a more of a matte experience, you will definitely get 
her matte crayons that don't have glitter in them. Let's see what this does with the brush. This is my Sona G Worker 1. Two. I'm gonna place that over. There we go. I feel if you want a better brush application, I think it's just more helpful that you apply not even one of her crayons. If you have a pencil of a similar color to apply on top, I feel that would just facilitate a better brush application experience. Cause look at that opacity. Like that's great depth. Wayne Goss number four, Draco again. To further blur the edges, you gotta be really careful here cause I'm trying to wing this out, but I already took it out far even without the wing. So I'm trying to be very strategic in terms of how I'm shaping this. That kind of works. I think we like that, hopefully. What shall we do on the lower lash line though? Hmm. That looks great. I love how this is blending. And applying this on top of the crayon was great. And I feel we would have gotten more depth out of Epsilon if we would have done the same, but now we know. This is why we have these videos to play, experiment, explore, and discover. I know it will be super Christmas time if I do Arcturus, but I really want to. Is that bad? How about this? I'm gonna use another crayon altogether. Let's go with Acela Flash. It's more like a steely type of gray shade. Taking her 304 to blend that crayon out. Well, we could leave it like that. I feel the gray looks really nice with the, the forest green. It's not too bad at all. But this, we gotta use. Let's see how we do with the brush. Going on my Sona G, build a three. With Collision. I'm gonna start just by pressing. This has the most texture out of all the shadows. It kind of reminds me of Astral Solstice from Midnight Sun. It has really nice reflectivity. Fallout Report. I actually didn't get any fallout from this eye because I was really careful and I think you will experience the same when you pat down instead of swipe. And also applying the crayon first will provide that stick and adherence to prevent that from happening. Go in my finger. There we go. Much better. All about the press. Press, 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 press. What should we do? You know what? Let's dip back in to solar. Because I think solar will look actually beautiful with this situation we got going on. Sonagy Pencil Pro with Solar in a corner. Pretty, I like that combination. Hello, are you gonna focus on me? Taking collision with the same pencil pro because I want to put a little more here on the inner third of my lower lash line for the bronze eye. All right, let's apply some lashes and I'll be right back. Here's a finished look with both eyes done and I have the Ardell Natural Lash in 421. And just so that we could quickly see, here are the dazzles. And look, you can see collision just the reflectivity is outrageously beautiful, super nice, and I would not be afraid to pack that on, you know what I'm saying? I know I look like, uh, what is that? Those team colors. Packers fan. <laughs> That wasn't intentional. Here's a wide shot of the look, friends. And on the lips, I'm happy to say that it is the Christian Aldette and Mel Thompson collab. If I don't do a separate video or post about this, a huge thank you to Mel. Thank you so much for sending me the PR for your collaboration. I love it. As smooches, which is Kelsey Brianna face sign off and beauty from the lipstick so i put smooches all over the lip and beauty right on top and it just gives me the most perfect new because beauty on its own is a little too light for me i know mel said it was supposed to be like a pinky neutral which it is but if i wear it on its own it's a little too light so that's why i have to apply smooches all over as like a base where the heck is it hello oh it's right in my lap so here is smooches that's the color that I have all over my lip. And here is beauty. I know my, my hands are so veiny. So when I put beauty on top of smooches, smooch you want to see what Noah looks next to beauty. So there's a little more for Noah. And that's why I could wear Noah on its own because it's just a deeper color. But beauty is good for me to just wear on top of Noah, on top of Michelle, on top of Sammy. <laughs> Sounds so strange. Even on top of Hepburn Honey. So I think this is a great shade to 
just get the perfect pout effect especially because again this is a pinky nude and it's hard for me to wear exclusively pinky types of nude i know this is a linda haldberg video but i just had to mention that okay and speaking of several of you have said that linda's lipsticks are outrageously good so now i have to grab some i'm gonna keep on the lookout to see if she has another major sale black friday is coming maybe she'll have a little something for that so i'm gonna hold off maybe compile another list and one definitely grab another set of the crayons because i really like the crayons just from this demo alone i'm really impressed with just their versatility in being a primer or a standalone shade i love how they move and groove i love how they blend out i love again how they set up the metallic mystery textures so we're doing good how you liking the eyes friends i love the bronze the bronze is gorgeous but the green this green is beautiful so we have to do another demo because we have to get into the red shade and i kind of want to see hmm i don't have the red crayon so we'll apply the red on its own but maybe we could still use a pencil because you never know i'll see you back here in a bit we'll brainstorm how about that i know this isn't red but i want to use Oh, wave of flash because I just want to see how it will influence the shade of the red. I know for sure she has a metallic red pencil, but that's in the other kit. And now I'm like kicking myself for not picking it up like I really should have. Her 304 brush to blend that pencil out. Octurus with my Sonji worker too. I'm gonna press, 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 press. That pretty. Mm. all around and to brighten you up there a little bit now with my e summit g34 i want to take mars and use that to blend out octopus i'm happy i got the infinity too because i feel if i bought infinity one i wouldn't have as many of the shades that i feel match up well with metallic mysteries too you know that's gorgeous i love sona g crease pro with fornax starting at the Ooh, okay. Lash line, just to deepen it up a little bit and add a little bit of smoke. I'm just patting so I can get the color where I need to first. Not bad. G34 again to just blur out the edges of the black. Octarus with my finger. And just bringing some of that back to the lid. Just because with the blending, it might have diminished a little bit. And I just want to make sure it stays bright. Again, just making sure this looks diffused and smooth. Quizar with my Smith 253. And a spritz. Pressing that on the inner part of the lid. I feel this shade will match up very well with Octurus. The coppery tone, I think, will create a really nice gradient. It's a little bit fall out, a little bit fall out. This is something with Linda as well that she heavily influenced me with, is to pull her eyeshadow out like way out. Very avant-garde. You know, I kind of just want to do like a simple look. If you only have the Infinity 2, let's go in with Lightyear first. Wayne Goss number three. I feel this is a great shade just to add some contour to your crease. Sonagy Blend the Pro with Red Shift. Playing on the out of the. These are really nice on the eyes too. Very soft, very easy to use and blend. Red Shift with Linda's 304 brush under the lower lash line. Reference number one with Polar Star. Putting that on the lid as like our shiny shade. Solar, that gold metallic shade with my Sonagy Pencil Pro. Lower inner third. I realized we didn't do the lower lash line on this side. Whoops. A little bit of Polar Star on the actual inner corner of the eye. I like how that looks. The Polar Star gives a really nice glow to the lid. Very simple to do for every day. If you want it, I'm taking my Sigma 3, no, Flat Definer E15 with Fornax. If you wanted just a little more definition on the lash line, you could just punch it in right there. You don't have to do anything fancy with the shadow. You don't have to wing it out. This is a great tip to just thicken your lash line using and I, or using a powder, I should say, remember, Linda's multi-use products. Don't confine them. So just add a little bit thickness to the lash line before you add mascara. So Naji, build a three. Octurus on the lower lash line to complete this look. Solar on the lower inner third, as well as the inner corner matching up with Quasar to add that nice yellow to 
orange gradient. All right, let's apply some lashes and I'll be right back. Close up of the look, friends. Same Ardell lashes in the style 421. I actually really like these. They're a little fluffier than the Wispies. They have a little more volume, but they're still lightweight. Really nice if you're into wearing lashes every day, but something on the more natural looking side, not bad at all. And here's the Dazzle showcase. Maybe not as much on this side because we used mattes, but the Polar Star shade on the lid, I think looks really nice. And the red with the Quasar and Solar on the inner part of the eye and inner corner, I think looks really nice. And on the lips, I have the same lip combo from before, Christian Aldette and Mel Thompson, Beauty and Smooches. I'm in love with this eye. This is a really beautiful holiday, like punchy holiday look. Not even any time of the year, but if you tend to lean towards more burgundy, wine, maroon types of shades, for this time of year, I think this shade is perfect. And I'm happy we did like a low key eye using this palette because you can see you don't have to get any of her quads to actually get an eye look. You could definitely just use the Infinity palette, whether you have one or two, because I thought these powders blended out beautifully on the eyes. And they're a little softer because if you think about it, I like the fact that they're softer in texture and in finish because eyeshadows like people love pigmented eyeshadows they just want that colorishness right away the fact that these are powders i think because since they go on the face as well they're going to allow you to build up the intensity to your liking and i appreciate that because sometimes with soft daily eye looks i just need just a hint of color but they do have pigment like red shift is gorgeous and to buff that across the lid and it was so easy too like the finish is really smooth the texture texture is lightweight but it has nice color to it and light year is bomb this color is great i feel it's the perfect tone to buff down any of the richer brown shades in this palette or any other shadow you have in your collection or even for your cheek products to wear as a blush to buff down your bronzer so i'm so happy with infinity 2 i just love the shades in here i love the different textures again it looks like you have five mattes and three shimmers yes the shimmers are lightweight they're not powwow in your face but i appreciate that i especially love the fact how they layer when the skin is damp that's how i like to apply my highlighters i like to go in with dry spritz let it dry down a little bit and then go in with the rest and then going with another layer because let me tell you it's just nice to have a highlighter and why not let's do both of them at the same time that's just gonna be soft and just right like not too much not too little it has great glow really great glow that's the word i was looking for amazing glow sometimes having a metallic high finish highlighter is not the best for texture or what have you but just having the right amount of glow we could deal with that. Metallic Mysteries 2. Although I'm not really crazy about the packaging, because I don't have anything against cardboard, but this is very, very lightweight cardboard and it feels a little cheap. I, you know, I get that maybe she saved on the packaging so you could have the full on experience with the actual shadows in here. It would have been nice just to have a little more weight to the palette because this feels like nothing. It feels very lightweight. I'm not sure like how these will be. I feel they will still be protected. Like, I don't think the box will actually smash into itself, but this is quite lightweight. There's probably like a foam insert in the frame just to keep, you know, again, everything together. But this, I feel like could use a little more weight here. But you know what? If you're a working makeup artist, maybe you appreciate that. You're like, Alicia, I don't want that palette to be heavy. I just need the shadows and for them to be covered and that's it and it does have a mirror so it's not too bad at all but i am happy that i got it 50 off 59 <laughs> I can't say good enough things about Infinity 2. I'm so happy with this palette. The fact that you could use it on eyes, face, lips, and body. Of course, we didn't go into lips and body today, but I could only imagine being in the Halloween season that I'm not sure when this video will upload, if it will be near or after Halloween. But to have these shades at your disposal to create shade and texture and just different dimensions of color and what have you on your face and body because having these tones i think makes a huge difference on the overall effect you're trying to achieve whether it's eyes face or body love the crayons i really love the crayons the way they amplify the metallic mystery shades and the way they just add a different element to your look whether again you could put this on your lip eye brow if you want a metallic blue brow you could use this pencil to achieve that so the freedom in knowing you can use 
use these mediums in any way shape or form it definitely encourages and inspires creativity for sure i think she was successful in relaying that message and also encouraging the user to take those risks because again with all her makeup and on all her packaging it says you could use these powders these crayons on here 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 and you're like oh i never thought of that and ideas start to swirl and develop and you can have a lot of fun i would love to get another set i want to get the metallic set like with the gold and silver and red and i want to get like the regular matte shades like the neutrals i just want to get all of them because they're so smooth and easy to work with you could wear these on your own you could put this on and then like a matte shade from the infinity 2 palette you could do a ton of stuff and i have to get the lipsticks because some of you are like those are the best lipsticks i have ever tried and i'm like <laughs> FOMO, I want them now. And I'm happy I got the brushes that I did. I'm not looking to get any more because these are probably the only ones that I would use from her collection and just enjoy using. This I love to apply highlighter and if I encounter any cream or liquid products that need precise application, I can rely on the 306. The 304, phenomenal for blending out the crayons. I mean, couldn't ask for a better experience. So that is it, my friends. I hope this video helped. If you have any of Linda's makeup, if you're having trouble using it or just trying to find different ways to use the textures or maybe have similar shades from another brand and just needed some inspo to dive in well i hope the video helped with that as well and with that said friends that is a wrap thank you all so much for watching i hope this video helped and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing and until then i'll see you on here again with another review tutorial get ready with me or favorites list take care and i'll see you again soon Ooh.